All right, time to review three Webflow apps that essentially do the same thing, which is to help you insert SVG icons into your Webflow project. So I'm gonna launch Udesly first, and Udesly gives you eight icon packs to choose from. And within those eight, you also have solid and outline. So this is all being pulled from an API. And if I search for something like help, it has nothing. If I go to outline, search for help, it has nothing, but I can go to a different one like material, type in help. All right, there we go. So let's go with this one. And when you click on it, it adds a SVG, which is inside of a custom element. And the SVG already has the paths inside. So each path has a fill and this one is current color. So that's good because I can take this SVG icon and change the color to whatever I want. So it can play around right here. So that's nice for hover effects and whatnot. And I can also change the size. So if I wanna do something like five rem by five rem, there we go. And yeah, really, really useful. So that's Udesly. Uh, what I like about this is that it has a lot of good icon packs to choose from. And when I search for something and go to something else, the search box uh, gets deleted. So I can just search again. One thing, one thing I would really like is if I just typed in help and it searched through all, uh, all eight. But again, these are all coming from uh, different API. So they would need to have like a master search bar within this app to search all eight. But that would be much more helpful than rather than having to go to each one and type in the type of icon that you want and realize it's not there. All right, next one. All right, so simple icons is just pulling from simpleicons.org. So if I type in help and, oh, I have to click on that first. I have to click on element and then type in help. Notice how it only has these two and these are because these are brands. So if I type in something like, um, like up, so these are all just brands. These aren't actually like web icons that you would use. So if you're looking for brands, simple icons is the way to go. Do they have Webflow? Yep, they have the old one. So there you go. Last one is Iconic. And Iconic is pulling pretty much from the same APIs as Udesly, but has a lot more, even Font Awesome. So yeah, here are icons again. It doesn't have material, but it has a lot. And so if I search for something like help, there we go, it's not found. If I go to box icons, notice how it has help. It didn't reset my, uh, my search query. So I have to delete it and type it again. And now I see help, all right? So again, if I go to a different API, if I, a uh, different library, notice how it's not, it's not reset. So I'm gonna type it in, this doesn't have it. And just like uh, the Iconic, sorry, the the Udesly icon uh, web of Webflow app, it would be nice if there was a master, uh, a, a master search bar. There we go, we have a help and I'm gonna choose this one. And now instead of, after clicking on the icon, instead of adding it immediately, Iconic lets you play around with the size and also you can choose the color immediately. And then um, it lets you insert, upload and insert or copy the code. Um, yeah, also adds a stroke if you need it, all right? And you can preview what it looks like on dark or light backgrounds. So I'm gonna insert it and there we go. So what Iconic does, it adds, Iconic adds their name and then some random letters and numbers. And so let me go ahead and make this 5rem by 5rem. Oops. There we go. So it didn't make it that much bigger, but let's go ahead and change the color and see what happens. So notice how it doesn't change the color with Iconic's uh, library. It's because if I open this up, there we go. The path is using current color, but this right here, yeah, the fill is none. So I'm just wondering, hold on. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's not being changed. And I think it's because we added the color 
we added the color inside of the app. So what I like about Iconic is that it gives you a preview of whatever you're about to add and it lets you play around with colors. However, as you can see, I can't change the color inside of the typography. So if I try it again, nothing is happening. If I were to choose one Webflow app between all three of these icon packs, it would have to be the Udesli icon pack because it has better functionality and it's quicker to use. As you saw, you can search really quickly and play around with the typography color so you can do whatever you need with that icon. All right, that's it for this Webflow app review. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below, or also let me know if you've seen any other Webflow apps that you would like me to review. All right, with that being said, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.